Hello, hi, good morning. Uh, my name is Antonio Criminisi and I work here at Microsoft Research in Cambridge. And the theme I'm going to be talking about today is about the analysis of medical images. In particular, it's about how to apply modern machine learning technique to the automatic analysis of medical scans. Medical scans are like, you know, this one that we're showing on the screen. This is a CT scan of a patient. Uh, CT stands for computed tomography and you can, you know, even if um, you are not medically trained, you might not be, you can see structures like the spine, you know, this is a, a view of the same patient, you know, horizontal view and this is a, a frontal view and you can see the pelvic region and the aorta. Now what we're trying to do here is you're trying to um, come up with tools that can help doctors, you know, diagnose a problem, you know, with a patient and also treat you know, the problem more efficiently. In particular, what we're trying to do, you know, we're trying to make, you know, the analysis of medical images quantitative so that you can really assess how big, say, a tumor is, you know, how effective a certain drug is. So we have two demos, one to do with the analysis of, you know, CT scans and the other one to do with the analysis of magnetic resonance scans of a patient's brain. So in the first demo, <coughs> we have already loaded you know, a patient uh, image. Again, you can see the different you know, uh, horizontal views here and the different uh, side views of the patient here. What we do is, first of all, we want to automatically identify you know, the spine. So the spine you know, uh, is important to identify, not just you know, to be able to analyze whether there are broken uh, vertebrae, uh, but also because the spine is a natural coordinate system for the patient. So it is a very um, helpful thing to do uh, for any kind of doctor that you know, wants to look at these sort of images. So you have seen that you know, I've clicked on the run button and something has already happened very, very quickly, but it is not you know, quite as you know, refined as it could be. So then I launch a second uh, round of refinement and you can see the position of the spine and the individual vertebrae you know, being refined you know, on the go. So now it's done. After a few seconds, you already have a very good idea of where the spine is. And not only that, you have the exact name for each of the vertebrae. So you might think that this is something that any uh, trained radiologist will be able to do very, very quickly. It turns out that it is a little bit you know, time consuming for them too to be able to do these sort of things. And you know, they have to change between different views and sometimes they have to resort to actual counting you know, from you know, the head towards the bottom to figure out which uh, vertebra they're looking at. So we can also compare and really quantitatively measure how well we do with respect to some ground truth labeling. And so now you can see in red the automatically detected vertebrae and in yellow the, the ground truth position. And you can see that there is very good you know, alignment between them. What's important is that you know, in this, um, uh, in this uh, demo, we can detect the spine and which vertebrae we're looking at, no matter what type of CT scan you know, we are looking at, no matter what the resolution is, what, no matter what uh, the scanning machine that we actually used. Um, and more importantly, no matter how much we can see of the human body, like in this case, we can only see the abdominal part and the thoracic region is missing. We do not need to see the whole body. We can have a very you know, um, tight cropped view and the system still works very effectively. So this is quite important. The generalization capability of this is quite important. So this is the first demo. The second demo is to do with something a little bit different. So we have a different type of image. We have brain scans and they, these scans are acquired with a different type of you know, scanner. It's called magnetic resonance. So here is an example. We have four views, horizontal views through a patient's uh, brain. And once again, any of you can you know, uh, easily figure out that there is something wrong with this brain, in particular in this region where we see a lot of you know, white and textured um, material. Well, that is a brain tumor. It's a, a very nasty, aggressive type of brain tumor. It's called glioblastoma. And anything that we can do with you know, measuring the size of the glioblastoma and its progression will be extremely, extremely welcome in the medical world because, you know, honestly, this is a very uh, bad, uh, in fact, incurable disease. 
So what we want to do is we want to you know, develop an automatic analysis tool which can tell us not only that this patient has got glioblastoma and how big it is, but also we want to figure out what are the different component regions in the tumor. This is color coded here in this view where you know, blue means healthy tissue and then green means necrotic core which is the already damaged, in fact dead region of uh, the brain. Red is the actively proliferating region where there is a lot of you know, um, uh, oxygen, you know, blood being drawn into that area because you know, the, the tumor is feeding itself and growing very rapidly. And yellow is what's called the edema, it's the inflammation, where it might be possible that you, know, you find you know, tumoral cells in there as well, but in general it's just a you know, healthy inflamed region, but it's something to watch you know, very carefully. And so what do we have here? Um, we have a, um, another application. I'm just going to you know, uh, select a patient, drag the images there, the images get loaded, and here you have you know, the tumor. So what you see here, these black regions, this is all healthy, they're called ventricles. All this region here is all healthy. Um, but this region here, where you see this black, and you see in the other views as well, the, the lateral and the frontal view, that's the tumor. In particular, the black region is the necrosis, where the uh, brain cells have already uh, died. And around, you know, you see a, an enhanced rim, a white rim, and that's the proliferating edge. So once again, what I do is I just, you know, run my segmentation tool. And all I did is you know, click on run segmentation. And what happens is that in front of you, the segmentation you know, is you know, color coded, it is computed, color coded, and refined as we speak. So this works for you know, any patient, you know, no matter what the size of the brain is, no matter what the size of the tumor is, or the location of the tumor. The other thing is that these tumors have got very different appearances. And so you really, you know, the only way you can uh, tackle this problem is by using machine learning techniques, which they learn from labeled data. And so that's precisely what we've done for both projects. We have a lot of you know, images of patients which have been labeled by our medical expert collaborators. And then we have devised some you know, algorithms to you know, exploit that and to learn models that can be applied to new, previously unseen patients. So we really hope that this technology can be adopted you know, soon in hospitals. We already have a number of trials going on and you know, help you know, the, you know, improve the quality of life of patients who suffer from very nasty diseases. Uh, thank you very much.